So in this case, I will use here the mode is NDVI. You can simply click to here or search here. I simply click to here. Now you can see all of this mode is data will be available here. Okay. You can see the mode is data, vegetation, mode is data, land surface data. Then you can see get all of this data using the mode is. So in this case, I will use this data set. Mode is data vegetation indices 60 day global 250 meter resolution. I simply click to here. You can go to the main interface of this data set. You can see here the data set availability date. It will be start from 2000. Okay. And it now the, the present date. And you can see the data set provider. Okay. You can also see here the collection snippet code. Okay. So now you can see here the this data set resolution 250 meter. And you can also see here the this data set has two bands NDVI and EVI. And also see here this is the scale factor and everything you can see. Now you can import this data set in your code editor. This is your code editor. So I remove our, our the other tasks. I remove it and uh, I simply reset it. Okay. So now I want to add this data in my here. So I simply use here from you can also search here modis and NDVI. Okay. You can see search here. You can get this 255 meter this data set and this data set will be same you can also search this data set from the search bar in code editor also you can search here from the main website of earth engine data set website okay so i simply click to import this data set will be imported modis data set will be imported here so now you can see here this is the image collection this is the default variable name this is the default variable name <clears throat> so now you want to now you want to change this name Suppose I want to change this name Modis. You can write any name. I get this name at Modis. So now you want to show this result. How many images? How many images will be available for the whole world? You can simply use here <coughs> the print function. Then use here the Modis. And then use here the dot size function. And when I simply click to run, you can see your console tab there are the total 492 images will be available in the whole world okay so now i want to filter this data uh, in my uh, specific time frame as well as a specific region of interest okay so for this i first of all i select you can see here this band has the two bands you can see ndvi and evi so I select my specific band. Okay. So I simply use here the variable. Suppose I take this variable bar and I use here this variable name is that I you can give this any name. So it's totally depend on you. Actually, variable name can be anything. What you need, you can just uh, use this name with your uh, work so that it will be easy to understand what I use or uh, wh why I use this variable name. So in this case, you can see here this, I already take this variable. So now I want to select here my specific band NDVI. This is my band NDVI. I select this. So for this, I take the another variable. Suppose I take this variable name is mode is, mode is NDVI, NDVI. <coughs> okay. And then I select, yes. select here my specific band from this collection. This collection variable name is mode is. So I simply use here the mode is. Then I use here the select function. <clears throat> and after this, I simply use here my, you can see my band name is that NDVI. So it's the string. So I use here the NDVI. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So now I want to filter my data for a specific time. What time. please? <laughs> so actually I will uh, uh, take some water. Wait. Yes. <clears throat> so now you can see here this is the modis ndvi okay <clears throat> yes and in this variable i select my specific band ndvi from this data set modis 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 then i use here the select function for select my specific band okay so now i want to show this result for a time frame so for this i take the another variable bar and give this variable name is filter date filter date you can give this any name so how you can easily understand so i use the 
uh, this variable name so that you can easily understand. Now I use here the filter date function, filter date uh, variable name, and I filter from this collection, from this collection. So I simply use this variable name, what is NDVI, and I use here the filter date function. And you can see here, this is the start and end. It means start date and end date. So I simply use here the start date 2050 and uh, 1st January. And I also define here the end date will be 2020. And uh, this is the 06 and also uh, 50. Okay. I define a sample random date here. So now you want to show this how many images we uh, in your between this time frame. Okay. You can see here 492 images. This is the total collection. This is the total collection between this time frame. <clears throat> year of 2000 from 2021. But in this case, I select here the 2050 from 2020. So now you want to check how many images will be available from this time frame. So I simply use here the print function. I simply copy this variable name filter date. And I simply use here the uh, size function. Okay. And when I click to run, you can get this how many images will be available between this time frame. Yeah. You can see here 126 images will be available between this time frame. Okay. So now you want to take the mean images between this time uh, uh, 126 images. Okay. So I want to take the mean image or median image so i want to use here the mean image between this time frame so i take the another variable bar and this take variable name is the mean ndvi mean ndvi you can give any variable name and i want to take the 126 images these images will be stored in this code okay and this variable name is filter date i simply copy this filter date I paste here and use here the reduce. Reduce is a function. Reduce is a statistical function. So I use here the reduce. Then define here the art engine reducer dot mean because I want to calculate the mean between this. Uh, I want to take the mean result between this uh, 126 images. Okay. So I use here the mean. <clears throat> So now I want to show this result in my map interactive view. So for this, I use here the map dot add layer function. And I use here this, this is my object mean NDVI. I simply click, uh, paste here. And when I click to run, you can got this result for whole world together. So it will be loading. You can see, you can see it will be uh, make this map in your black and white portion. But it will be covered for the whole region, whole world. <clears throat> but you can see this member is not interactive. It's not colorful. So now you want to add here the visualization parameter. Okay. So I already talked about the visualization parameter. So in this case, I use here the visualization parameter. I simply click to data set. You can simply click to here, view data set in catalog page you can go to this link this is the same link okay this is the same link so here you can see there are already uh, default visualization parameters so i simply copy this visualization parameter you can see here i simply copy this code from here and paste in my code editor and paste in my code editor you can see here after map dot add layer this is the object and this object i put here my visualization parameter so in this case, my visualization parameter variable name is NDVI visualization. So I simply copy this name and paste here. When I click to run, I hope now you will get the perfect result so that you can easily understand what's the, the uh, density of your uh, visitation. You can easily understand everything and it will be work for the whole world. Okay. So now you can see, now you can see this is our result. But now you want to show this result only for one country, just Bangladesh or just India, just uh, Cambodia and just other country you want to need to any specific region. So for this, you need to upload your shape file. Suppose you can see here, I already upload different types of shape file. So I simply paste the shape file in here. 
I paste the shape file here. You can see this shape file variable name is table. So if you want, you can change this variable name. I change this ROI. Okay. So now I want to show this whole world result only for my this region. This is my shape file. You can see here. This is the Bangladesh shape file. It will be uh, reload here. <coughs> So you can see here, this is our shape file. This is our shape file. Okay, so now I want to show this result only for this shape file. So for this, I use here the function. This function name is clip function. So I use take here the another variable. Suppose this variable name is, I gave this variable name is var, var. Then I use here this variable name is study area. You can use any name. I use here the study area. And you can see here, this is our mean NDVI for whole world but i want to show this result only for bangladesh so i use here this simply use the clip function and you can see here this is the roi i simply copy this roi and paste here so when i click to run you can get this result only for the country boundary of bangladesh but it not work because in this case you can see this is our main object study area so i simply copy this study area and paste here this study area and when i click to run now you can get this result only for your country boundary shape file bangladesh okay so now you can see it's this result will be uh, available so now you want to check this result and if you want you can simply import uh, export this map in tip format and use the uh, another software just arc map or qgis so i simply use here the export dot image to drive okay this is the function for is this function tax is that this tip image will be stored in your google drive okay so now i want to check uh, this how what's the argument control and backspace you can see this is the all of this argument okay and now i want to make a dictionary here so i use here the curly bracket between here and also this portion and i simply put all of this uh, information suppose image so image is come from the study area, a study area. Okay. And then description, description can be anything. Description can be anything. Just you can use here the quotation. I gave this description name is Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Okay. You can use then folder. Suppose you want to use the any specific folder in your Google drive. So I want to use here the folder name is GEE. You can use any name. File prefix is not needed for this time. Dimension is not needed for time. So region. Region is that what region you want to import. You can see our region name is ROI. So I simply use here the ROI, the scale. Scale is that your uh, resolution. Resolution is that 250 meter. CRS is not important and max pixel is needed. So max pixel mainly we use when you need to export the big region. Yeah, in this case, you can see this is the whole Bangladesh. So it is the uh, big region for this max pixel value will be one is 30. One is 30. Keep it, uh, it's only one is 30. And this is the uh, this is the uh, max pixel uh, highest value, one is 30. Another is not needed. So I simply remove all of this. Okay. So now when I click to uh, run, you can see our tax tab will be opened. You can see our tax tab will be opened. So it will be working. You can see tax table will be yellow. When I click to run, you can see everything is okay. So now when I click to run, this tip image will be stored in my Google uh, Google Drive. Okay. When I click to here, it will be uh, 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 downloaded in my Google Drive. Then you can simply open your Google Drive. You can see it will be running. Okay. When it complete, it can uh, tick mark sign. And then you can uh, open your Google Drive, Google Drive, and access this. You can see Google Drive, open your Google Drive and download this tip image and use this image in your uh, other um, platform that like QGIS or QG, uh, or other uh, GIS software. Okay. So I hope you understand. And I also provide you all of this code so that you can easily practice and, and, uh, and, and as well as you can also learn everything. So any question? <laughs> so actually, uh actually it's very easy it just you need to practice it's easy when we know but uh, i just learned so okay. i think it's difficult yeah so uh, i will yes. I, I will provide you all of this for today and tomorrow when you will be start 
in the same time right okay okay same time no problem and today i yes, also because uh, yeah uh, because uh, i i uh, my uh, uh, work i'm from seven to uh, 5 pm yeah so yes and after my rest time i continue study like that i think it's better okay 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 yes. so tomorrow yes. tomorrow we will start the same time and i also okay. send you and you can also send me your email so that i can easily send you this course video class as well as practice okay. code and other material so that you can practice and tomorrow we also discuss with the some highly advanced some advanced level how you can easily make the chart and how can also use the computation the different types of satellite image how you can easily filter the different types of satellite image and other things and we can also uh, talk about the how you can easily make the llc map so tomorrow we will start the just uh, uh, just uh, uh, 5 pm okay yes bangladesh time okay, okay. no problem okay thank you so uh, yes i <laughs> but i think it's fast <laughs> It's fast, but I will try like uh, because as I mentioned, as uh, I don't know uh, the JavaScript and uh, Python. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, codes. So that 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 is the main problem for the, use this. Uh, actually, actually, JavaScript programming is not uh, is not more needed in here. Just you need to understand some basic thing: print, dictionary, <clears throat> and list how we can define the dictionary list and uh, uh, you can make this list and other all, all of this function you can see this all of this server object function this is the art mm -hmm. engine object function so javascript function is the mainly in this case the print list and dictionary and other is, is the for the new function will be available here so just keep practice and i hope you can easily understand everything yes so could you send like okay. uh Okay, uh, I it's a uh, detail about about like a uh, uh, you uh, function like uh, you you saw previously like uh, yes yeah like list like a uh, Kali. I I like I, 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 send, I send you everything. Just you can send me your email. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay, I will. Okay, today is no more. Okay, okay. okay thank you very much for your teach okay. me. I will try. Okay, no problem. Okay. Yes, I want to know and how to use uh, this to intend to use my uh, to approve my uh, workplace. You know, I I work for land uh, management, but I, I I don't has experience before. I I, I am uh, my experience for research uh, archaeologist archaeology. Okay. So yes, yeah, so I now I'm I am working for uh, for the Voltex site in Cambodia, the third Voltex site, you know, it's some yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so yes, I I want to uh, manage management like uh, land use and land cover or like uh, water management like that. Okay, no and problem. Spe you... Yes, it's special uh, especially yeah. like uh, you know uh, demography. Yeah, uh, people and building uh, in the in the volatile side that I'm, I am working. So that why I want to know the te uh, technology like uh, QGIS, uh, GIS, uh, or Google Engine like that. So uh, please. Uh, okay, no problem. I, to... I will I will help you. No problem and. And, and 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 i hope you will continue with me and i have also some advanced course about the google earth engine then land use classification and you can continue all of this i hope uh, and and continue practice i hope you can easily understand all of those things and you can also make a developer in google earth engine no problem just okay. practice okay yes thank you for uh, good see you tomorrow okay see you tomorrow okay, okay. bye see bye you bye, bye.